the very best foods in Southeast Asia are some of the best meals on the planet. After all, this was Anthony Bourdain's favorite part of the world for food, and there's just so much to explore. But what are the things that stand out above everything else? For our last top 10 for the holidays, we decided to have some fun and look back on 12 years of cooking and eating all across the continent and put together our list of the top 10 meals that should be on anyone's bucket list in all of Southeast Asia. Number 10. Sisig, the Philippines. While adobo gets all the hype for our money, nothing in the Philippines comes close to sisig. It's a cast iron skillet with cuts of pork, usually cheek and jowl, sizzled with onion, chili, soy sauce, citrus, mayonnaise, and a raw egg. I will fight someone for those bits that stick to the bottom of the pan with so much flavor and texture. It's so good that I actually once added it to my own very much non-Filipino restaurant menu just because I wanted to eat this stuff every day. Number 9. Soto Medan, Indonesia Nasi soto or soup with rice is found all across Indonesia and there are fabulous versions from Java to Sulawesi. But nothing tops this version from North Sumatra. It's just indescribably delicious, a rich coconut broth with cardamom and kaffir lime, served with crispy beef offal, a potato croquette, and a spicy chili relish for mixing. Add some ketchup manis or thick sweet soy sauce, combine it all together, and spoon it over rice for the very best breakfast food you'll ever have. Number 8. Khao Soy, Thailand. Let's just make this the soup section of this video. Khao Soy is the local specialty of Chiang Mai in northern Thailand, and I've heard there's lots of great stuff in Chiang Mai. Elephant trekking and mountain biking in nice old temples. But every time I have ever been, it's just turned into a massive crawl of Khao Soy spots. Forget everything else, that's what I'm here for. It's a masterpiece of flavor and texture. A coconut curry with fresh and deep fried egg noodles, pickled mustard greens, fresh lime, and in the classic form, a fall off the bone chicken leg. It's wildly addictive and maybe the best soup dish on the planet. Or at least it might be if not for the next item on the list. Number seven, curry laksa, Malaysia. There are a million kinds of laksa across Malaysia, and I'm happy to debate which one is the best. But for my money, nothing tops the classic. At its best, it's a rich curry soup packed with spices and soaked up in chunks of fried tofu, with prawns and egg noodles and fish cakes all packed inside. There are few places on earth with the diversity of spices and flavors as Malaysia, and no dish manages to capture all of it as well as the famous curry laksa. Number 6. Ban Mi, Vietnam. I mean, come on, if this isn't the world's best street food, it's certainly in that rarefied pantheon with stuff like tacos and shawarma and Indian pani puri. Anyway, there are amazing forms of this sandwich in Laos and Cambodia. But the iconic Vietnamese version is typically served in a fresh baked baguette with pate, grilled pork, sausage, pickled carrots and daikon, cucumber, cilantro, chili sauce, and mayonnaise, all for like a dollar, and somehow even better than you think it's gonna be. While the best versions might be found in Saigon or in Hoi An in central Vietnam, for me it's at its best in Hanoi, sitting on a cheap plastic stool and washing it down with a glass or ten of Bia Hoi, or the local unpasteurized fresh beer. Number 5. Kampot Pepper Crab, Cambodia So this list is our bucket list meals, which means it's not only about the food but also the experience. And in this case, this takes care of both. The Kep Crab Market in southern Cambodia is a totally unique place, 
where a handful of stalls built on stilts into the ocean sell seafood so fresh that when you order, you'll usually see the staff climb into the water and pull up a crab pot. But that's not even the star of the show. The real highlight is the camp pot pepper, a local varietal of fresh black peppercorn that Michelin chefs around the world fight to source. But here, it grows right on the vine and is stir-fried in curry or with seasoning along with the crab for one of the coolest meals you'll ever have. Number 4. Grilled Meat and Sticky Rice, Lao. There are a few places where grilled meat is more than just a dish, it's the entire center of a culture. Southern Africa, the Middle East, and the region including Lao and Isan Thailand. In Lao, it's typically grilled pork or river fish, and in Isan, it's chicken, both cooked over coals and served with sticky rice and chili sauce. But we're choosing the Lao version here for two reasons. First, the ubiquitous local sausage, stuffed with herbs and just about as good as it gets. And second, I mean, there's nothing better anywhere than sitting by the Mekong with a beer Lao with the smell of the grill as a backdrop. Number 3. Bun Cha, Vietnam. You might know this dish as the thing Anthony Bourdain chose to eat with President Obama in their iconic visit to Hanoi. That was not an accident, as this is the best thing to eat on a trip to Vietnam. No disrespect intended, but amateurs come to the country for spring rolls and pho. Pros go straight for the Bun Cha. It's patties of pork sausage and smoky grilled pork belly served with rice noodles and a mountain of fresh herbs alongside a bowl of fish sauce, citrus, stock, and palm sugar. Tear off some noodles or sprigs of mint or pick up some of the meat and dunk it in the liquid. One of the great dishes anywhere. Number 2. Roti Curry, Southern Thailand. It's not hard to find roti and curry in this part of Southeast Asia, from Singapore through Malaysia. But in Thailand, it's next level, with the incredible roti served with the legendary chicken masaman. Roti curry in Phuket or along the southern border is almost a religious experience, but where it truly earns its spot near the top of this list is at the street-side Muslim restaurants in and around Krabi province, where along with a soft and flaky bread and the unbelievable curry, you'll also find plates of khao yam, which you might remember from one of our earlier top 10 lists as maybe the best single dish I've ever eaten. Put it all together and in one of the world's greatest food countries, this is the best of the best. Before we get to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions that could just as easily be on this list, too. The nine meals we've listed represent some of the world's best foods and definite bucket list items for anyone following the Bourdain Trail to Southeast Asia. But before we get to the clear number one, please consider subscribing to the channel and follow our documentary content on the stories and histories behind the very best foods. We have a new full-length video up almost every week and we hope you enjoy our content. Number one, Nasi Padang. Indonesia. I remember the first time I saw a Nasi Padang restaurant in Sumatra. The trays and trays of the most incredible looking stuff. Just an endless array of colors. Curries and stir fries, fresh vegetables and meats, and fish fried and dried. More unfamiliar and entrancing stuff than I'd ever seen at one time. Then we went inside and sat down and the waiter brought over all of it. 
This is the magic of Nasi Padang. You get small portions of literally everything, and you pay for what you eat. But it's beyond just that. There's the food itself. According to a CNN poll from a few years ago, three of the 14 best dishes on the planet come from this corner of Indonesia, including the number one, beef rendang, an intense coconut curry cooked all day, stirred constantly until dry. Maybe the best dish on earth, served in the coolest way possible, on a table with everything from jackfruit curry to tapioca leaves to fried fish in sambal all together for less than the cost of a fast food hamburger. There's a reason why I've been back to Sumatra more than 15 times, and whenever I land, I'm headed straight for Nasi Padang. And that's our list of the top 10 bucket list foods for your visit to Southeast Asia. Let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd put here above our choices, and if we've never had it, well, we know what we'll check out next. Happy Holidays.